Now what are some of the things that you can do with that? Well, that's the first step to teaching, say, a, a handshake. Very easy to teach a handshake after you've done that. And you could do paws up on my arm. Um, many, many different types of things that you can do with that. And one cute one, once you have the target behavior down, you, you can tell the dog to target a prop like a piano that they'll play with their, their feet. Wait. Target. Target. And so what you would do in this case, you just want to use the target cue a couple of times, and then you're going to transfer it to the piano. And so once the dog gets the idea of you're dealing with the piano, then they go for the piano, and you give them the piano. Like so. Wait. Piano. Good. And you have a wipe your paw. Wipe your paws. Car. Wipe your paws. Good. Wipe your paws. So all sorts of little things that you can do with the target behavior. Another useful thing to do with the target is, is to go to their place. A mat is, is like a large target. It, it's a great thing to start shaping with. Just put it in the middle of the room, wait for the dog to interact with it, you click, treat, and just completely shape that. Um, but that's, that's a targeting behavior. And so if you don't have a mat um, shaped, then you can, instead of luring the dog onto the mat, just use your target. And there they're interacting with the mat. Go to your place. And so you can teach them to just relax in, in their place.